girls. How you doing? Good. She has too much energy. Or no, because I like I want to buy a person energy. <laughs> well, because she's kind of nervous, but also, what shoes are you gonna wear? It's the first day of school. The shoes that you bought me. The only shoes that fit me. Okay. <laughs> And Chelsea is ready to go as usual. No, do you not think those pants are like grandma pants? Like the ones she's wearing? Yes. Oh, they're cute. No, I'm oh, you're being rude. I'm. That's like, just Ashley's uh, Yeah, don't don't worry about her. <laughs> backpacks are ready. Wait, are you taking? Oh, that's Ashley's backpack. This is your backpack. Okay, are you ready for school? Good. Are you gonna? You're not quite ready. Are you ready? Is your lunch packed? Okay. Oh, it's not like you're, like, I know. Yeah. Jason's getting ready for work. I'm never up when he gets ready for work. You want to say hi? Well, he hasn't been up this early in three months. She, no, she didn't wake up for the first day of school last year. <laughs> My gosh. Throw me under the bus. Last year was different. Like, you already knew how to, she knew how to do middle school. You knew how to do elementary school. Like, it was different it's the last same year. Routine. Yeah, it's the same routine. But. Yeah. So, I think it's the sign of a, of a mom's job well done when she doesn't have to get up with her children. I have friends who are still getting their adult children out of bed in the morning. So, you know what? I have done a good job by training you and teaching you how to get up in the morning. Here, take a clip. That will help you. You put it on my finger. So, they mock me, but this is my right to stay in bed. Your I, right to stay. I have taught them how to do this. Yeah, Abby is still in bed because she doesn't have school so until, I don't even know. Second or third period. It's okay. It's okay. Are you gonna let me do a photo on the front porch? Mm, I'm we not. We do it after school. No, you don't. You do it in the beginning. No, yesterday, last year we did it. No, I didn't. I, I did, did it before school. No, we did not do our fo family photo or uh, back to school photos at oh. the train park. It was really chaotic before Kaylee left, and we just couldn't match up our time to go do it. Um, but I think we're gonna do it with just these guys when? this weekend maybe um and i it'll be kind of sad i had like this thought that like the photo we've taken of the girls all four of them sitting on the train tracks oh, this makes me kind of sad i know kelly won't be in the picture but like what if we like slowly so take the pictures with fun. one by one one of each of them when they leave to go to college that person like they're slowly dwindling down to just well, Ashley's photo. I mean, that's what it's gonna be. When Kaylee gets back, we can. Yeah, yeah. When she, if she comes back, we'll go and take another photo. Yeah, but, um, but anyway, um, I just thought that would be kind of. I mean, it's sad, but this is just the reality of your kids, you know, growing up and moving on. But uh, anyway, um, so we haven't done that yet, but we will. Uh, July just got kind of crazy. Okay, we're throwing Ashley under the bus. For it's them. a good life. They she made fun of me for not getting my butt out of bed, so. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Say anything. I got Cheetos. I got some popcorn. Mm hmm I got four granola bars. Four, Chelsea made me pack this one. I didn't want this one, but I'm going to bring it just in case if I didn't want it. Yeah. Three, um, the good granola bars and a Capri Sun and an ice pack, but nothing has to be cold in here. Right. Which is pointless. Because there's no fruit, veggie, or sandwich. <laughs> I can't close. It, the I, one yeah. thing about this lunchbox, it doesn't close. It will if you have the appropriate things in it. It's a oh. Lunchbox. She's judging you. <laughs> like, with the wall. You need All right. I allowed myself to rest in bed for a half hour, 40 minutes or so. Um, it's, it's just barely 9 o'clock, to be fair. So I didn't rest for very long um, and too late into the morning. But... I am now sitting in the traffic line for the elementary school buses. I think they finished all the construction in our on our streets. So I don't really know what the delay is right here. Um, but there is a delay. Um, but I'm going to go walking. Abby is headed off to school soon, but she just has 
you know, late start and she's only got two classes. So, um, but anyway, I'm gonna go for my walk and we'll start our first day back to school. All right, unfortunately, this gorgeous weather will have to be put off for just a minute. I'm about two miles, two and a half miles in and my right knee is killing me. I just asked my sister, um, if I, I say this because I, I can't get into my general practitioner. If you remember the problem with my elbow, way back when I found a practitioner scheduled an appointment for her in October. So there's no going to a doctor for me. <laughs> so I do the next best thing. I'm about to call my dad, but I decided to ask my sister who's an RN. My other sister is an NP. My dad's a doctor. So I've kind of got enough, like, you know, to work with here. Um, so I was asking her about it if she has knee issues or if she, what does she do? Cause she bike rides. Um, but anyway, she thinks that the, the jiggly feeling is like loose ligaments possibly. And that's why it feels so hard to like walk downhill. And then the muscles compensate for those ligaments not working right. And so then they tighten up and that's exactly how it feels. And so, um, hi. All right, in my car. <sighs> filming that on my phone. I hate using my phone. But, um, anyway, talking to my sister, she's like, yeah, I think you need to go get a brace. And I really want to keep walking. I literally don't have anything to do the entire day. But my, my knee is really, really hurting. And I am frustrated about that. And so, I'm going to go to Target really quick and get a brace. We had one for Kaylee's knee when she dislocated it, but I'm almost positive she took it with her because her doctors have always said that it was, that there's a good chance they would come out of socket again and always keep a knee brace when she's working out and walking and doing her things. And so I'm pretty sure it's not at home. I'm pretty sure she packed that. So I'm going to go get one really quick and put it on, kind of walk around Target maybe the parking lot with it on and see if it feels better enough to come back to the park, which I didn't even take my tennis shoes off because I need to see what it feels like when I'm like wearing tennis shoes. Um, just, I, I hope I haven't done anything to it. Pretty like, you know, s simple when I'm walking. I'm not doing major hikes or anything like that. And I have good shoes, so I don't know what's causing, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I am walking like 35 to 45 miles a week. So I am putting a lot of stress on my knees, I guess. But like, <sighs> I really, I, I don't want to stop. So I got to just come up with a solution. This is the type of thing that would like make people just stop working out. And I'm not going to let that get into my way. So let's go to Target and hopefully that I just go in and get that just get the brace. That's what I'm telling myself. Don't get a cart, just get the brace, walk around, and then we'll go home. Well, I don't want to go home. I want to come back. I'm going to come back to the park. You told me there'd be better days And nothing that can pull us under You want to take the pain away But know that I was born as a fight We fail, we fail but we're better than that. We're better than that. All right, well, I ran into a friend of mine. We talked for quite a while, and then we were talking, ended up talking about anxiety and the new, the Inside Out movie and Ashley and like just kind of her journey. Cause this, it was the other coach from last year that Ashley had, and so she saw Ashley's anxiety. <laughs> and so she was asking if it was better. And um, I'm trying to look, there was like a century moment that recorded on my car. So I'm trying to see what it was. Um, but anyway, so we were talking and like Ashley really resonated with the Inside Out movie. So we were talking about that. And this mom pops up um, from the other aisle and she just was like, oh my gosh, what you just said about anxiety and, and joy existing in all of us um, and that it just, it coexists. She's like, I've never heard it like said that way before from a mom's perspective because she's trying to understand 
um, her 18 year old and her 11 year old who is at Ashley's middle school today. And um, she's like, I've never heard it explained from a mother's perspective. Um, and that was like a perfect, and even then it was Ashley's perspective, but it's the way I can understand it. Um, so it was a very interesting conversation. And I said, if you really even take that even further, anxiety still existed in the first movie of Inside Out. Anxiety was still there for a lot of the characters that were in the show, but we couldn't see anxiety in the first show. And that's how it felt like as a mom, um, not being able to see your child's anxiety, not knowing what was going on, not them not having their own words. They don't even know it exists themselves. And it's, it was very like, I don't know what the right word is, but then seeing anxiety come out um, be, and be seen quite literally in the second movie was how it's, it is for a mom to finally discover the anxiety in a child. The child is find and see anxiety in themselves. Um, anyway, so we had this huge conversation and <laughs> it's fantastic. And she's like, well, I'll see you around at the middle school. <laughs> she's like, my daughter's name is such and such. Maybe your, our daughters can be friends. But anyway, it was quite fun. Um, but I did get my knee brace. I did put it on just now. I'll drop it down so you can see it. I have it on. Um, I'm worried that I'm going to see if I have a breakfast bar in the trunk. <sighs> I'm worried I'm going to get hungry now. Um, but I really, I want to walk now and I can't eat a full like lunch and then go walking. Cause it just, it doesn't work. I'm, I just, it doesn't feel good on your belly to walk when you're super full. So I also got Ashley's candy salad. We'll talk about that at um, the Jamboree that we're going to on Saturday. Um, the girls are going to have a candy salad <laughs> during practice for them to have a little nibble when they stop to get a drink of water. Um, they can grab a gummy bear, gummy worm, um, and have a snack in between their cheers and whatnot. There's a lot of Okay, I gotta put the camera down. There's a lot of moms with toddlers here because all the uh, <laughs> older kids are in school. So I've gotta be careful here. It's now noon. Chelsea suckered me in to go and check on the chicken. So I went home. She won't come out of her coop because she's laying an egg. So I had to prop the door open, call Kaylee to make sure that she would actually come out after she's laid her egg. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want her staying in there. She's like, no, she'll come out. But at, tomorrow when Jason is off work, hopefully he has a day off, we need to go find a bigger fence. Because I need to just be able to have Ashley prop the door open from the coop when she leaves for school. And then it can go in and out on its own. And I don't have to worry about it escaping into the yard. Because I'm not doing this. I'm not a chicken person. <laughs> I will go out and check for an egg midday when I'm home and then that's all I want to do and luckily Ashley now is the first one home well Abby's technically the first one home from school but um she won't take care of the bird either so I'm going back on a walk I'm, I'm gonna go back it's already 12 but I'm gonna go back for an hour and try and get a couple more miles in and just see if we can do this all right well this is the most I've struggled on a walk in a long time. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go home. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get, come on. I'm gonna try and get to five miles by the time I walk to my car. I'm at 4.65. I'm gonna go the long way around to the car. I've, I'm struggling because I'm hot now. It's gotten warmer. It's only like 75, you know, but when the sun's coming down, it's just, harder but um the breeze is great but uh i'm also really really hungry now and thirsty and it's just four hours four plus hours of trying to do this walk is a bit ridiculous <laughs> i mean i haven't been walking for four mile four hours but it's a little too much time to take <laughs> to get a four mile walk in so i'm gonna call it good go home and have lunch and, and enjoy the one hour i have until ashley so <laughs> A bit ridiculous but I also have to go collect the egg tomorrow we're gonna go find a, a new gate for the bird so I'm not constantly having to check on it all right
I didn't show Ashley leaving this morning, but I will show her coming home. Let's see if I can catch her. Why are you like out here? You're never out here. I came out to film you. How was your first day of kid uh, kindergarten? kindergarten. <laughs> How was your first day of middle school? There's a lot of kids. There's a lot of kids? Not kids, but interesting. Yes, yes. You had a good day though? Yeah. Okay. And the second one is home. How'd it go? Good. Yeah? Did you find all your classes? Yeah? The only thing I struggled to get to was the buses because the front <laughs> buses, the portable, because I kept going downstairs that led me to the front of the school. Oh, yeah. It's hard to get your direction when you're in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know where the portables are, but it's just no, a matter of getting to the right door to go out. Because I would take a staircase that seems like it's going to lead out that way. Right. Leads you to the front of the school. I'm like, how did that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good day. You look cute. I like those pants. They're really, they're cute. But you probably want to go put your obligatory. Yep. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.